It has now been over a year since I last uploaded on this YouTube channel, and while it seems like I've completely fallen off into irrelevancy, never to be seen creating content again, I'm here to tell you, YouTube audience, that that is far from the truth, and I wanna talk about everything. My general viewpoint on the creator economy, what I know right now, what I don't know right now, why I've been absent from YouTube, there's so much I could talk about right now, and I just, you know, First and foremost, I want to say thank you all so much for watching this video and listening to me during your day. It truly means the world to me to have this platform to create, to inspire, to make a difference. And, you know, a lot of my content these days is very impact driven and streaming has been my primary medium, uh, my primary avenue for making that impact, right? Um, I don't really spend much time sitting down recording videos these days, and my editing skills are basically non-existent at this point. In other words, I'm kind of starting at square zero again with videos, and it's going to be a very gradual, slow process. I'm not just going to suddenly start rolling out these Boehner videos because I that's just unrealistic to me at this point, but um, I, I feel like I'm at a point where... I am still figuring out like what direction to go next and I you know am not really afraid to kind of admit that and to admit that I am failing as a creator from a you know YouTube video perspective um however I also acknowledge the areas that I am succeeding right now. You know, I still am very much into Toontown. I have people who say that I'm their favorite YouTuber and that they love my videos on YouTube, which gives me a slight chuckle because uh, I haven't really uploaded here lately. But, you know, with streaming and everything, it's kind of opened up so many doors and possibilities for me as a creator. I have now become one of Twitch's brand new ambassadors, which is a highly prestigious role only presented to under 200 global content creators on the platform out of tens of thousands of partners and millions of unique broadcasters every month. It is truly an honor to be in this role and represent, you know, streamers and creators on a platform over there that I truly wholeheartedly care about. But it's also a much bigger picture than that. I want to best advocate for not only streamers, but creators as a whole. And streaming and content creation expands beyond the walls of a Twitch or a YouTube. It is the big picture. It encompasses everything. And, you know, there is, I feel, no right or wrong way to do content creation. And that is probably a hot take because everything has to be by the books and everything has to be carefully curated, especially on YouTube. Things can be clickbaity, things can be algorithmic, and people want to get the impressions and the numbers to you know, present to their sponsors, which is a very real thing and numbers are important. However, um, I feel like I want to challenge that and I don't want to necessarily make content where I'm turning on my customer service voice, you know, that I have grown accustomed to using in certain situations. Um, I want things to be genuine and authentic, and maybe that might hurt me in some degree as a creator in the long run. However, this is something I really feel important to stick by, something that I feel like I want to hold on to, because as an impact-driven creator, it is so important to me to be the best version of myself, to be the truest version of myself, no matter what I am doing, what game I am playing as I branch off into new avenues. Um, you know, Toontown is at the core of what I do, but I do so much more as well. And I can't wait to show that off in the future and try new things and fail over again and again. And, you know, I just, when I say that I, am kind of at a square zero, I'm excited about it. It's not something I'm ashamed of at this point. Um, but, you know, I I feel like I'm kind of at square zero, but really, I also acknowledge where I am in my journey. I've been able to speak on panels at conventions. I've hosted events at conventions. I, you know, have received amazing opportunities to travel across the country, even to destinations around the world. And, it's really all passion driven. Everything that I have done, dating back to my very first Toontown YouTube videos, was genuine 
passion. My purpose for making content was to connect with people across the world when I didn't have anyone to connect to because I made friends and classmates and mutuals and acquaintances, but never really had like a core group of people to lean on. And I really wanted to just meet all kinds of people, learn all kinds of perspectives. The creator economy is so diverse. Our world is so diverse and I absolutely love it. I want to spread that, you know, positivity in the world. The world really needs more of it. And if I can be that genuine positive force in this ecosystem of content creation, in this world as a whole, through content creation, through my charity work, through my Toontown videos and streams, then that is at the core of what I do. That fulfills my purpose. So even if I'm not consistently uploading on here, I want you all to know that I will continue to work as hard as I possibly can, continuing to make an impact, thinking bigger, thinking bolder, learning how to come up with ideas that bring people into the table, that prompt insightful discussions, that prompt incredibly exciting community events. You know, I don't think Twitch made me an ambassador for nothing. I think that this is exactly what I have needed to be inspired and motivated to take that next step in my journey, to rewrite my story and my journey as a creator. And I would love to look back on this video someday and be proud of making this video, be proud of the content that I made that led me up to this point. Um, I'm just really thankful for everyone that has supported my content over the years. Um, I don't need, you know, a million followers. It, it's cool if it happens. It's cool if I someday get a play button on YouTube, but um, I really feel like I want to offer content in my own unique, genuine way. So that is the direction I am thinking of going. There's a lot that I still don't know. There's a lot that I have to learn, but I am really excited to go on this journey as a creator. It is at this very recording, the main thing that I am doing, but I have also dabbled in the industry as well. I've done marketing, I've done social media, I've done just about everything you can imagine. And I'm sure that you will hear a lot about my journey moving forward, whether that's on YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, you name it. Um, I feel very motivated and excited for what's to come, even if I don't really have a clear picture at this moment. But I think that, you know, I have something beautiful to offer and I cannot wait for what comes next. So obviously Toontown is still very much in the picture. It has been for over 11 years as a creator. So expect, you know, more fun Toontown streams and all that stuff, but expect me to try new things, to try things that don't always appeal to my core audience as I expand to a new audience. While, it, it, instead of like hopping over from one bubble to another, I'm, I'm blowing more air into the bubble, I'm expanding it, and I'm really excited to, you know, continue to do what I do while making am amazing content. Um, and you can tell that I just stuttered there because this is a raw, unedited from the heart, unscripted. I promise you it's unscripted. I'm looking at my camera directly. I don't have any notes. This video was just from the heart because I felt the need to make it. So now I've made it, it is up and who knows when my next YouTube video will be. Maybe it'll be very soon. Maybe it'll be another year. I don't know, but you know, I'm excited for where I'm going. I don't know entirely where I'm going, but I'm excited. And I hope that you can consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and joining me on this journey of wonderful content. <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to this tangent. Thanks for watching this 10 minute video. And I look forward to seeing you all in the future. Thanks for watching, smirk on. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.